Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. Happy Tuesday. How are you? Uh, welcome to my craft room. Come on in. We're going to do a little creating tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me here. Yes, Jennifer says, I'm going to pop that up. Jennifer is one of my team members. Um, she's saying happy new catalog day because today the Stampin' Up! annual catalog started. Yay! We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and not very patiently sometimes, right? And uh, Jennifer is a demonstrator, so she placed her order today and to get a discount. So how awesome is that? Uh, Carol is here. Kathy is here. Cindy is here. Jane is here. The gang's all here. Awesome. Hot and dry in Arizona, huh? It's um 55 degrees here in Minnesota in the early evening, and it's was sunny today. So that's a that's a win. I'll take that. <laughs> Hi, Pauline. How are you? Uh Patricia's here, Mary's here, Kay's here. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for being here tonight. We're gonna do a little creating with some new product tonight. So I sent my um newsletter out. When did that go out? I think I scheduled it to go out early this morning. So it, it was done about 3.30 a.m., but <laughs> I think it actually went out early in the wee hours of the morning. So um, hey, Kathy, thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad it's your first time. Welcome. Come on in. We're just going to craft and have fun tonight and hang out. So um, new catalog started today. So all those goodies um, are available to order and we're going to play with some of them tonight. Now in my newsletter that I sent out, my newsletter is a project sheet email, I call it. In the email, I have two project sheets. Um, the, actually, this one had three, didn't it? <laughs> the Sending Smiles, um, the three samples of the Sending Smiles uh, bundle. And uh, I think I intimated in the newsletter that we were going to stamp with um, with the sun print suite tonight, which I've been having a lot of fun with. I've been doing a lot of projects with the sun prints because they're gorgeous. And we're not going to stamp with that tonight. <laughs> so I hope we don't disappoint anyone. However, the fun fold card we are doing, I first made it with the with the sun prints, the nature prints bundle. So I'm going to show you that. You'll see it. And then you'll learn how to make the fold with the other products that we're using. And so you kind of get both tonight. You get all the stuff for being here. So thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, good evening, Sally. Uh, Mary's here from Southwest Minnesota. South, ugh, can't talk tonight. Southwest Minnesota. All right, we're going to go ahead and let's get this party started. I'm going to flip the camera and show you my desk. There it is. And there is the beautiful new catalog. So before the catalog is released, we're not allowed to show the inside on camera, but now we can. Yay, because it's official. Um, if you do not have a cat, uh, a copy of the catalog um, and you would like one, please let me know. Shoot me a message um, or email me at hmm, I have an email address. Where might that be, Sue? Here it is. You can email me Susan at SueStampfield.com and I will get a catalog out to you. Um, but we're going to uh, do a little creating tonight with some of the new products here. Some of my favorite new products, um, I placed an order today too. Demonstrators do get the opportunity to um, or pre-order um, some items. Um, we can't pre-order everything. Uh, we have a list that we can pre-order. The Sunprint Suite was is part of that list, so yay. Um, I did want to point out, if you're watching my videos and you don't own a, a die cutting machine, they do have a couple of um, bundle opportunities where you can get the mini machine and some dies and things to uh, make with that um, and in a one easy number deal. So, um, so check those out. It's on page 158 of the catalog, or if you go to my website, um, SueStampfield.com and click on um, shop now, you'll, you'll find this area on the website there. So anyway, one of my favorite things that I got right away was this item. This is the magnetic cutting plate. Now, when Stampin' Up! first came out with our die cutting machine, we had a magnetic cutting plate and it was having some curling issues. So um, they 
refunded everybody that purchased it and they went back to the drawing board and it's just been released the new cutting plate i can't wait to share it with you guys it is coming soon um, if you tune in on saturday night's video you'll be seeing that in action so um so that was one of my must-haves uh right off the bat of course the um the sun prints but there's a couple oh, what's the other oh there's some dies that we're going to play with tonight that are, I think, an absolute must. Um, they're not part of a bundle. Um, they are standalone dies, and they are, I'm hoping we're alphabetical because that will make it so much easier for me to find them. Yes, they're right here. They're called Stylish Shapes, and they are stitched nesting dies, and they're awesome. So we'll be taking a look at those tonight and, and playing with those tonight. And then, um, of course, my two favorite um, sweets. One of them is the Hues of Happiness, which is featured on the cover of the catalog, inside the front two pages of the catalog, in multiple places of the catalog. But you can get all of the information on it uh, right here on page 108 and 109. My other favorite is the sun prints that we've been doing so much with, which is page 90 and 91. And this first card I'm going to show you is with the sun prints. So we're going to make a fun fold card tonight. And uh, let me bring in the one that I made, the sun prints version. Now the sun prints paper, we've been doing a lot with that. Like I did this card a while ago with the sun prints. And a lot of the paper is this, these gorgeous blues, which pairs so beautifully with white. Uh, last Saturday, we, uh, a few days ago, we did the hexagon card, which is somewhere on my desk. I don't know where it's here though. Trust me. Uh, with the, the same, um, suite, but this paper on the other side, of the blues. Um, so this is one side. The other side, there are some sides that have uh, gray granite. So I really wanted to make a card using the gray granite that's featured in this set. This is bothering me because that's poking into my raining on my parade. So I made this card. I'm going to swap on uh, Thursday. It's a leader swap for leaders here in Minnesota. And um, it's a, a 40 card swaps. So I have to make 20 of one design and 20 of another design. And this is one of my designs. So this simple fun fold, um, there's a flap that folds back. And, uh, and then that is, I pop that up on dimensionals and then the piece is layered over and extends over the edge and it opens up like this. And it got some of the beautiful stamps there from that nature's prints bundle. That's where these dies come from. And then this is the Sun Prince paper. So I don't know how well, oh, hold on. We have a pearl issue. Excuse me, was that driving anyone crazy? It was, it's not supposed to be wonky. It's actually supposed to be nicely lined up, but it had its, it had a different plan apparently. So, um, so yeah, these dies are, you're gonna love these dies, Nancy. They are just, um, it, they're super awesome. I, I absolutely love this bundle. And um, let's get my let's get my email to go away because it's it's in our way. Go away. There we go. Okay, that's better. Um, so this fold is what we're doing tonight, but ours is going to look totally different. For one thing, instead of doing it portrait, we're going to do it landscape. And so we're going to play around with how we can do the same fold, but landscaped. Very simple fold. And we're using a very different style of product. So um, let's look at what we're using. We are actually going to be using the Sweet Songbirds bundle. This is a punch bundle and an adorable stamp set. And we're going to be using some of the in colors. So our card is going to feature one of the in colors. And I am hoping that you will... Um, I am hoping that you will uh, help me decide which color we're using. So let's go ahead. I got distracted. I was reading your comments there. So I'm going to slide that out of the way. 
and let's bring in those in colors and take a look at them. So the every year we get very excited when the new annual catalog comes out because it means Stampin' Up! releases five new in colors. And these colors will be around for two years. And then every, oh, I don't know, five, six years, Stampin' Up! does a color refresh and they retire some of the colors in the, in the current line and they bring back some of the past in colors to kind of fill in or they might introduce new colors. So um, so the colors this time are Tahitian Tide, which is this really pretty, bright, happy blue. Um, Orchid Oasis, which is a, kind of a purpley blue. They have lots of blues this time, which is awesome. I love blues. Sweet Sorbet, which is a, a, in the red family. And then we have Starry Sky, which is a dark, darker, um, more uh, primary blue, I would say. And then we have Parakeet Party. So these are the five new in colors. And they are available, of course, in the cardstock. And sometimes it's easier to see what the color is when you look at the cardstock versus the case of the ink pad, where it can be a little bit uh, convoluted and, you know, doesn't quite have the exact right color. So those are the colors. As I as I mentioned, they're very bright, happy colors, and they're going to be a nice, tra nice uh, tradition. I see lots of you like Tahitian Tide, Tahitian Tide, Tahitian Tide. Uh, yeah, it's awesome color, right? Any of you remember the old Tempting Turquoise? It's a little bit similar to that. Um, so exciting to have that back. And then they also came out with used a lot of this already. It's all over the place on my cutting desk. Um, some pattern paper in those colors. So this is Starry Sky and you can see it has got a plaid and a floral on one side. We're using this on our card too. A stripe and a polka dot on the other. And then of course it comes in all five of the colors. So we've got our um, Parakeet Party, our Starry Sky. I'm still learning these colors, you guys. So it's really good for me to just say them over and over again. So I don't forget. Um, Orchid... Oh gosh, see, I already forgot it. Orchid Oasis. Years ago, we had a color called Orchid Opulence, and I keep wanting to say that. Orchid Opulence is very pink, though, peaky purple. Um, I like this one a lot better, I have to say. And then we have the Sweet Sorbet. One of the, one of the disadvantages of being a demonstrator for so long is... Um, I remember all the old colors and I get mixed up sometimes. So I might end up calling this strawberry slush at some point and you'll just know that that used to be a color we had, right? So um, right now there is a special offer. If you decide that you want to give it a try of being a demonstrator, um, you can just be a hobby demonstrator and just do it for the discount. That's what 99% of my team members do um, and you get because you get 20% off everything you buy. If you purchase a starter kit, you get the this pattern paper, you get all five of the ink pads and you get the assorted pack of the cardstock in addition to all of the deals in your starter kit. Um, plus you get some uh, 11 by 17 grid paper that matches the in colors to just protect your work, work surface. So that deal is going on right now. If you want more information on that, you can reach out to me at Susan at SueStampfield.com and I'll fill you in or you can check it out on the website. So let's move on. So we're going to use this. We're going to use the new colors. We're actually not using any of the cardstock on this card. All right. I think I've stalled long enough. Let me bring in. <laughs> Let's talk measurements because that's very important um, when you do this. Birds are, Orioles are red. Uh, birds come in almost every color like a parakeet. Yeah, I think you can do... Um, we're going to be doing, uh, well, well, we'll be talking about that. <laughs> All right. We're going to start by squaring. Oh my gosh. I just hit the camera. I'm so sorry, you guys. You just got a little bump. So sorry about that. Now for scoring my cardstock, I'm actually going to use, this isn't right. Hold the phone. 
Houston, we have a problem. Okay, this is in the wrong spot. Um, I'm going to use the big Simply Scoring tool just because it's easier for me to show you the score marks on the big one, but you could just as easily do this on the paper trimmer. doesn't matter. And I'm using a ring light, which is very annoyingly um, hiding my numbers. <laughs> so sorry about that. So I have a standard half sheet of cardstock here. So it's eight and a half by five and a half to make my card. And I'm going to start by scoring it at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to score it at seven and a quarter. So one more time, we're going to score it at four and a quarter and then seven and a quarter. So by scoring it at seven and a quarter so that I can fold this in half and it gives me a one and a quarter inch panel over here that I can fold back the other way. So I'm going to set this aside. All right, and we're going to fold this closed on the four and a quarter inch mark. My cord for my phone is getting in my way here. I use my phone for my camera. And then we're going to fold this portion backwards. So like an accordion fold. And I'm just making sure that my edges are lined up here. All right, so when we, let me bring in that other card. So I had this one going this direction, but we're actually gonna rotate and we're gonna make this one go this direction, all right? And then we're gonna decorate. Now for this one, I used different pieces of designer paper to decorate my card. I used a two inch panel here, one, uh, they're all five and a quarter. So it was two inch by five and a quarter here. This was one inch by five and a quarter. And this one was uh, one inch by five and a quarter. For this card, we're gonna change it up just a little bit. We are gonna use a piece of designer paper here, but on these two, we're actually gonna use some embossed pieces. And I am using the um, Mary Melody embossing folder zoom in on that, which is just these fun musical notes. I'm not, um, I'm not a person that's good at reading music. Um, so I, these could be right side up. They could be upside down. I have no idea. I know musical notes go both directions, so I'm not sure. Um, but I am going to use those to help decorate my card. This is going to be a designer paper panel, but I'm going to use the musical notes because our little stamp set here, I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit, has these musical notes in it and we're gonna be using that on our card. So our embossing folder is now going to uh, fill in a background that will be matching our stamps. Is it upside down, Carol Thompson? Which one? This one or the other one? So there's notes going both ways. So, all right, I'll flip it around. <laughs> It won't matter. Once I get everything on there, they won't know. Is this one upside down? Mm, I don't think so. I think that one's right. Okay. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit more here so you can see what I'm doing. So this piece is just like our designer paper, one inch by, by five and a quarter. And that is going to go right here at the bottom. So this piece is actually going on the inside of the card. So this piece will actually be visible both um, when the card is closed and when it's open. And then this panel is going to go in here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive to that. Just using my seal here. The right side up now. Okay, good. <laughs> At least they were. Who knows? By now I might have flipped them around again. It's all right. It's going to be mostly covered up. So my mom would be able to tell though. She would know. Whoops. And my niece. My niece is a music therapist. Oh boy. <laughs> I might get in trouble. All right. So, um, so we've got our card base here. Let's bring in 
uh, those dies I was talking about. Um, these are called Stylish Shapes dies. You guys, these are an awesome staple to add to your collection. They are nesting dies. They are uh, stitched. Let me hold them up here. Well, actually, I'll zoom in so you can see. They uh, cut a stitch circle, but they also um, cut a stitched frame. So the piece you cut out of will leave a uh, stitch mark. Hang on, let me grab a sample. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when I die cut this piece, it left behind a stitched frame and the circle it cut out also had stitching on it. Same with the banners. Um, and zoom back out again. So those of you who perhaps, okay, what happened? There we go. Oops. There we go. My focus was locking on me, which meant it might be blurry on your end. So um, some of you may remember the stitched shape styes that got retired and everybody was super sad about that a couple years ago. Um, they were ovals, circles, and squares um, that were also stitched similar to this. In case you're curious, these sizes of circles and squares are all different from stitched shapes. So if you have the retired stitched shapes, you can use them along with these and you're going to have just more nesting opportunities, more layering opportunities. For example, this largest circle that we're using tonight cuts a three inch circle. The largest circle in the stitch shapes was two and seven eighths. So you could layer these two, those, this one and that one together, if that makes sense. And I believe um, that one had the stitched shapes had four circles. This one has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And the smallest one is, um, what size is the smallest one? The smallest one is smaller than the one in the stitch shapes. Uh, let's see, is it, it is, it looks like about seven eighths. Yeah. And that one was one and three eighths. So it does it just in case anyone was curious, um, that you have those, uh, retired stitch shapes and you're wondering, do, are these exactly the same as what I already have? They are not. They are all of them. I measured them all are, are slightly different sizes. So they would work with what you have just in case you're curious. I was curious. So, um, so we're going to use these tonight and I've already done the die cutting. So let me bring that in. We're going to use this largest circle right here. You can see it did that nice stitching for me. And we're going to use this longer narrow uh, uh, banner die cut. Okay. So I'm going to set these aside. Oh, this is so exciting. All right. <laughs> and a little bit nerve wracking. All right. Let me um, bring in my, um, I'm bringing in my stamping cushion here. Uh, this just gives me better images when I stamp um, photopolymer. And I'm going to set the card I'm making off to one side here. Kind of cheating a little bit. Okay. So we're going to start by, mm, what do I want to start with? I think I want to start with my branch. I wonder if we need to decide on our bird. Well, we're going to wing it. We're going to see how we go. Um, I'm going to take this banner. I'm going to actually start my, with my words. I am going to stamp the words from my stamp set here that say, A little bird told me. And there are quite a few different partner sayings that go with that. I'll show you what they are. Uh, a little bird told me you've got something to celebrate or a little bird told me it's your special day. Either of those work. Then you've got welcome. So happy you're here. And then congratulations can also go with you've got something to celebrate. So you've got multiple options. This piece right here, in case you're wondering what that is, it's a sign that you can put um, some of these smaller phrases on. And these are strings so that it can actually hang from the branch um, if you want. So that's what that is. There's even a little nest. Um, but I'm going to ink up the uh, little birdie told me in the tuxedo black uh, memento ink. And I'm going to stamp it on just one half of my banner. What did I get on that one? All right. 
make sure I'm doing this right. I'm going <clears> to, <throat> I'm going to zoom out a little bit <laughs> because I can't see. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is scary because I am not, I'm not over the piece. So eh, that's okay. All right. There's the beauty of photopolymer. You can actually um, stamp. So why am I only stamping on part of it? Why didn't, you might wonder, why am I not using this little one here? Um, I did try it. It is a little too tight for the sentiment. Um, you can see I went, it's okay, but you go on to the stitching just a little bit. So um, I'm using the longer one and I'm actually cutting them in half so that I can get two uh, little, little bird told me sentiments out of here. I just turn this one around and would use it for another card. I hope that makes sense. Um, let me grab my wing it. Oh yeah, I was being, a, I was telling a pun and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I mean, wait, I meant to do that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. All right, let's, um, we're going to cut this in half. Let's see what half is because I don't remember. So this is uh, two and three quarters is half. So that would be one and a half and a bit, <laughs> right? So right about here. You can also just do this with your, um, oh, I don't think that was half. I think that was, all right. Susan can't measure and talk on camera at the same time, but I did it before. So no worries. That one's probably a little bit longer than it should be. Yep, quite a bit longer. Hang on, we're gonna fix it. <laughs> it really won't matter, actually. There we go, fixed it. So easy, right? All right, so now we have our circle and I feel like we need our bird. All right, you guys, we're gonna pick what color bird we want for this and we're using the in colors. So, uh-oh. Hang on, I dropped a bird. Nobody panic. Here they come. They come flying in here. So we're not going to use Tahitian Tide. Why not, Susan? We like that color. Well, we're not using that one because I already did a card in that one, and I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so we're going to do, and I want to do one in all of them. So we're going to make one of the other colors. So I would love your opinion if we want Sweet Sorbet parakeet party uh orchid oasis or starry sky okay and i'm gonna wait for your vote on that and while you're voting i'm gonna bring in of course tahitian tide is our other one but like i said i already did a card with that one so we've got our strips of paper here to go depending on which color you guys go with Again, we're choosing between Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, or Parakeet Party. Got one of every one so far. <laughs> Let's see. It is kind of a Tweety Bird, Linda. I agree with you. Um, I'm not seeing any... Uh, I've seen a couple... I've got two for Sweet Sorbet so far. I've got two for Orchid three for orchid, four for orchid. All right, I think we're gonna go orchid. We've got parakeet party is right in there as well. Don't worry, cause I'm gonna make them all up. I am committing to you right now that I will make them all up and I will send them out in the next project sheet um, and we'll have a project sheet for this one. So, um, so don't worry, we're gonna get them all done. But for this, for purposes of this card, we're going to uh, go with Orchid uh, Oasis. He's really cute. I'm sure there's an Orchid Oasis bird out there somewhere, right? There is now. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and adhere this piece. Now, this is the one change I made from this card. Now, it's not a big change. This card, this designer paper panel was five and a quarter by one. This one I did all the way at five and a half. And I, I don't even have a reason for that. I don't know why I did that. I just did. <laughs> and that other card's already done. So it's staying that way now. I don't think it matters, right? This one didn't have any other designer paper on it. So um, really make that stand out and go from edge to edge then. 
So I am just layering that on that piece that folds back. Okay. All right. So our little bird here is so cute. Now I stamped this with the stamped image and I then even stamped, there's a little beak stamp. I stamped that in uh, Mango Melody actually. I stamped his little eyeballs. Of course, it's all out here because I never put anything away <laughs> in the tuxedo black. And I stamped his little wing in the Orchid Oasis as well. And then the punch just slides in. Sure it does, Sue. What'd you do with it? Oh, here it is. Um, the punch slides in and I punched out the body and the wing um, from the punch. You can actually also stamp the beak separately and punch it out and then it would have a little white border around it if you prefer that. Um, this is the breast piece right here if you wanted to do that in a different color. Um, you can build a bird actually without the stamps. Uh, you would just have to hand color in the eyes um, and you wouldn't have all the cute little sayings that go with the bird. So I do recommend the... Um, I do recommend the uh, the bundle um, just because you'll get more use out of your product that way. Um, I, I'm laughing because when I when I first saw this, um, I was doing a box party with my team and showing it to them. I I thought these were eyebrows because they're right above the eyes. I thought, oh look, the bird's got eyebrows, which you could do. It could be a surprised bird, um, but they're actually supposed to be closed eyes if the bird is singing and its eyes are closed. So in case you're wondering, I'm seeing that you could build a snowman with this. Doesn't that look like a carrot for a snowman's nose? Like, and then you could do the eye. I mean, and the snowman could have eyebrows. <laughs> so anyway, that is how I, uh, that's how I made my little bird guy here. And we're going to go ahead and stamp some of the other images in this set. We're going to stamp the branch and the leaves. And so I'm actually going to bring in two other ink pads for that. And we're going to use the soft suede ink pad here. And ink up my branch. See, I have a I have whippets. That's the breed that my dogs are. And I see there is a big whippet hair there. So I'm trying to avoid it because it wouldn't be the first time we've got a dog hair in our stamp for when we're stamping, right? So I'm going to extend the branch across the lower portion of my circle here. And my little bird is going to be sitting on that branch. Okay. And this little Tweety bird is, he's singing a song and his, um, we'll see fleck on there. So let's grab those musical notes. And I think I can close up the soft suede now. That would probably be best. Get that out of the mix here. Um, let's see, I do need my tuxedo black here for my little musical notes. And of course, these are going to match that embossed background that we did. So I'm going to just stamp these over on the side right there and then I'm going to put some leaves on my tree so I've got my leaves here now I could use parakeet party for those leaves I'm actually going to use granny apple green which is a, a little bit darker than parakeet party but you certainly could use parakeet party it's photopolymer, so you can line it right up with the branch and stamp it so that it goes right where you want it and this one, I the other one I was kind of hanging off. So this one, I did the branch a little farther in so that I would have room for that. And then we can even have our little bird standing on our branch because he's got feet here. So what the heck? Let's let's give him some feet. He could be laying on the branch and not you couldn't see his feet, but we're gonna have him stand on the branch. So I'm just going to stamp those right on there, and then he's going to be right there on top of that. So I'm going to attach him to, uh, to the branch with some dimensionals here. So I'm going to flip him over. Now when I attach the wing, I did use a mini dimensional behind there. Let's grab, I look at this, you guys. It's a whole fresh sheet of new dimensionals. So exciting. And then I'm hoping you'll help me pick the greeting for the inside of our card. Actually, I don't know why I grabbed three. I only need two. All right, we might need that in a minute though. Okay, so we're gonna pop our little birdie on here. 
I love dimensions, so I do tend to add a lot. So he's singing his little song. And we're going to put our card together. And I'm going to, oops, come here, little birdie told me. I'm going to remove this because we don't need this anymore. And we're going to adhere this down. So this panel, hold on, i got to open a drawer here that's covered up with other stuff. All right. So for this long panel, I'm going to stick it down with some dimensionals. And I'm actually going to use, when you empty out a sheet of dimensionals, you've got these leftover edges. And this is a perfect use for these edges because you have this long strip of dimensionals, um, like all set, all in one piece. And I'm just going to run that the whole length you do want something pretty strong here or it will not adhere. It'll pop back up. If you didn't want it raised, you could do it flat and you could do um, just uh, adhesive under there or tear and tape to keep it totally flat. I, as I mentioned, I really like to mention. So I'm going to do it that way. And then we're going to have our circle extending over um, the edge of the card so that you can see it when the card's open and when it's closed. And you can just adhere this down flat to the card, or you can add it with more dimensionals. Totally up to you. I'm going to do it with dimensionals. I'm actually not. Why not? I've got these out here. I'll just use this, this little row right along here. You can either put it on the circle. You can put it on the um, directly on the card, whatever works for you. All right. And then we've got our, a little bird told me, we're going to pop that up. And I'm hoping that you'll help me decide what we want the inside of our card to say. So a little bird told me, should I say a little bird told me it's your special day or a little bird told me you've got something to celebrate. So let me know, celebrate or special day. Let me know which you would prefer. And I'm going to grab a regular dimensional here pop up our greeting. <laughs> I pushed you off the fence for this bundle. Oh, that's cute, Jean. Off the tree branch, maybe, right? It's so cute. It's so cute. And it's really, um, I, I, you know, it's great for birthdays and um, graduation would also be great for, uh, but you know, a lot of us do a lot of birthday cards. So there we have our card. We just need an inside sentiment. Either one will work. I agree with you. I see a lot of people saying, uh, it looks like Celebrate is the, the, uh, the winner here. Do I have that one on a block? Of course I don't. It's still in the set. That's all right. We can make that happen. Let's pop it out here. And but can you see how cute this would be in all of the in colors? And that's my plan. I'm going to make a whole set of them um, with the different in colors. And I'm going to show you the parakeet party one in just a minute here. Not parakeet party. Tahitian Tide. What am I even talking about, you guys? Okay. You've got something to celebrate. We'll put that right inside. And there is our card. You guys want to see the Tahitian Tide version? Let me zoom out just a skosh. Let's shove everything out of the way. <laughs> Here's the Tahitian Tide one. So cute. But you know what? They're going to be cute. It's going to be cute in the Sweet Sorbet. It's going to be cute in the Parakeet Party. It's going to be cute in the starry sky. They're all super cute, right? <laughs> so that is our fun fold card tonight. I did want to show you um, another option. Um, you know, these are these awesome stylish shapes dies, our nesting dies. So you could also um, die cut the bigger banner. Um, I actually cut the whole long banner. And I cut it in half, just like I cut this in half. 
and uh, layered it on there. So if you didn't have enough designer paper to do the whole strip, or you didn't like that look, you thought it was too busy, you could just do it as a little, uh, you know, a little mini banner instead, or you could do both, you know, so have not have the words on here, have the strip and, and add this. So there's options, right? There's always options. So, so that's the landscape version this is the uh, vertical version or the portrait version with the um, nature's uh, uh, nature's prints <laughs> bundle, the sun prints suite of products. So totally different, right? Like these <laughs> do not look like the same uh, fold because they're so very different. The products are but they are absolutely the same fold. So it just shows you how versatile this fold is. And it's just something a little bit different, right? It adds um, some texture to the card and some opportunity to kind of mix up the designer papers and the embossing. So I'm gonna flip down here. Starry Nights version might need a parakeet belly. Oh yeah, yeah. Although there are a lot of birds that have white on them somewhere because I, I don't know much about birds. I wish I knew more because I walk my dogs a lot and I see birds all the time and I'm like, I don't know what that is, but it's really cute. <laughs> so maybe that I may have to become a bird watcher. But uh, so there are our cards tonight. And like I said, those will be fe that fold will be featured in our next project sheet email. I just sent one out yesterday. So it will be next week that that will come out. But stay tuned. And then, uh, you know what? We might have to play with this fold. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I think, well, I'm not sure yet what we're doing on Saturday. I don't want to lock myself in because there are so many fun choices, right? But I cannot wait to share with you all of the other versions of this card with the different colors. So stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed to my emails right now, you can do so right here. This is the uh, project's free pro weekly project sheet email. And I'm going to flip around. So I can see you. Hello. <laughs> or you can see me. I guess I can't see any of you, but thanks for hanging out with me. Even though I can't see you, it does feel like we're hanging out and stamping together, right? Um, that was really fun. Thanks for your input as always on our project. Um, you guys always have such a great uh, way of, of solving that. What date is Crafternoon? Great question, Jean Fitch. Um, Crafternoon will be on the 20th. It's always on the 20th. So May 20th is when the video will be. If you placed a qualifying order in, uh, in April, your packets will be going out to you. I always try to get them in the mail by the 10th, so they have them by the 20th. Um, so I will send an email out to all of you that uh, placed an order and get the packet so that you know to watch for it. Now, if you place an order in May, you will qualify for the June Crafternoon. Um, place a $50 order before tax and shipping. You don't need a host code or anything like that. Just do it in my online store. I'll have your name and I will get your packet in the mail to you for the June Crafternoon class, which will take place on June 20th and the packets will go out on June 10th. So thanks so much for being here. Carol knows the date. <laughs> thanks so much, everyone. So glad that you can join me tonight. I'm just going to see if I have any other questions I missed. Uh, you did a bird package with, with, with Girl Scouts. Oh, yeah, that would be... Um, that would be really cute. Okay, everyone, thanks for being here. We'll see you. Our next video will be Saturday night, 7.30 p.m. Central. Looking forward to seeing you then. Take care. Bye-bye.